I imagine most of the people listening to this channel are probably people or English speakers. I imagine a good percentage of them are probably white Europeans. Imagine if I suddenly came along on this channel and said, I don't know, Taylor Swift makes me want to hate all white women. I think people would think I was something of an idiot. Today we've had the wonderful saga of Diane Abbott being roundly abused by a, a major do donor to the Thory party. Now, Diane Abbott happens to be the MP for the constituency next to my own. I'm not overly fond of Diane as a politician, but she's also a human being, and you do not make remarks like this. It's effectively dehumanised her. If someone wished to criticise her politics or her competence of politics, feel free. Diane is not above criticism on those grounds. But the remarks made are absolutely abominable, as was the kind of dancing around in a semantic sort of um, Morris dance to try and avoid the, the fallout from them. Let's see what was actually said, or, t or alleged to have been said, since we're doing... <laughs> since we're doing Have I Got More News for You. Tony Do Tory Donor's alleged comments about Diane Abbott were racist as uh, Diane history. I'm keeping the Have I Got News cast for you under the table here. Frank Hastert allegedly said Diane Abbott made him want to hate all black women. Marcus says uh, Frank Hester <laughs> is making him think Frank Hester is a bloody idiot. <laughs> and makes him want to hate all Frank Hester's, allegedly. Um, comments allegedly made about Diane Abbott by a conservative donor were racist and wrong, which the Sunak's spokesperson said. Uh, uh, eventually, they said it, eventually. Frank Hester has donated £10 million to the Thories. Just a few quid then. You could, uh, just enough to pop down to McDonald's for a burger or get yourself, a, I don't know, a bag of potatoes down at Tesco's. Mr. Hester apologised for making rude comments. Fair enough, Mr. Hester. I tell you what, I live in Hackney. If you wish to pop down here, Mr. Hester, I'll meet you in I don't know, say Dalston Kingsland, and we'll walk around, and you can go that you can shout that phrase out. But I assure you, when you shout it out, I'll be making my exit on the nearest bus at top speed. I'll be dashing onto the nearest bus or hailing a taxi if there's one available because I know what's going to kick off when you do it. And I won't blame anyone who does give you a thump, because it's a bloody stupid remark. And it's really, really out of line. If you're lucky, you'll say it to someone who's older and wiser and will just think you're an idiot, and will ignore you and walk by. Now, Then you have the Rishi Sunak special dance around this situation. Uh, Downing Street initially declined to describe his comments as racist. Can't really see how you cannot de uh, describe these comments as racist. It's it's a bit like saying, uh, I don't, honey is sweet, and someone is, uh, you know, deciding to say, oh, he hasn't said it's sweet, or that it doesn't have a high sucrose content. <laughs> it's, the Prime Minister is clear there is no place for racism in his public life. There's future a place for it in private life, so long as it's not revealed too much. Then we have, of course, um, Kemi Badenoch, who's now stuck in a really hard place, being a black woman, if, if I remember with Kenny, Nigerian heritage, where basically she outflanked the prime minister and said they were. Well, yes, they are, and Kemi is right. Downing Street held its line, that is, until it didn't, when at 1830 on Tuesday evening they changed their mind and said they were racist. About that time, uh, somebody in the... Uh, 10 Downing Street discovered that if you open a tap, it pours out water, and water is probably wet. On Monday, The Guardian reported that in 2019, Mr. Hester said, it's like trying not to be racist, but you see Diane Abbott on the TV, and you're just like, I want to hate. You just want to hate all black women because she's there. And I don't hate all black women at all, but I think she should be shot. So why are you going on about it like a bell in then, mate? Absolutely stupid commentary. Why didn't you just say you disagree with Diane Abbott's politics? Do you think Diane Abbott in her own person is somehow the summation of all black women and represents them all? No. 
In further remarks reported by the newspaper, the Phoenix Partnership uh, bosses have, have said that there was no room for the Indians. No, they're, they're, they're probably tied up in Westerns fighting John Wayne and suggested staff climb on a train roof. This guy's humour sounds great. Mr. Hester said he abhors racism, well, when he gets caught anyway, which he described as a poison that has no place in public life. As I said, when he gets caught. I'll leave that bit there, but then to add an insult to the injury, we had Prime Minister's question times. And where you had Lindsay Hoyle. Speaker fails to let Diane Abbott speak in Prime Minister's question debate on Tory donor's remark. Lindsay argued that there was no room for her to speak due to the number of prepared questions. I think there must be some um, procedure where Lindsay could let the debate go on a bit longer or strike a question. As given the situation, that looks, the optics on that, to use a, a modern term, aren't really very good. And it doesn't add to the poor repute Lindsay is held in at the minute and the questions around the Gaza debate last month. Um... As I say, I'm not the greatest fan of Diane Abbott's politics generally, but I never thought I'd be saying this. I feel really very sorry for her to have to put up with this rubbish. I thought we'd moved on in Britain where people were not making comments like this. It appears I was very wrong.